Hey guys, and welcome back to another Captain Eggnog with me, Only Eggnog, and uh, today I'm gonna do a video I haven't done in a little while. I'm gonna do a video on my excellent world, um, and just, uh, you know, update you guys on what's been going on. So I haven't made a excellent world video in quite a bit of time, and there's a good reason for that. I'll explain it once I get in. As you can see, I have full diamond armor enchanted. The enchantments aren't really that great. Uh, I'll improve them. I also have a bunch of tools that are actually pretty good so far. But you might be wondering why I have diamond. Like, where'd my netherite go? Where'd my elytra go? Where'd all my so OP stuff go? I'm using my backup sword that I made a while ago. Like, what's going on? To make a long story short, so the new 1.18 update came out. I dug a hole all the way to down, all the way down to Y negative 64. Broke all these ladders. I was going to make a water elevator, and uh, I ended up falling. I fell 127 blocks or somewhere around there. I ended up dying. And no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't get my stuff back. I was devastated. I didn't play in this world for like three weeks straight. It was horrible. I was I was so mad. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to stop grieving over this. I'm just going to go back in and grind for levels. Get all this good stuff back. So yeah, that's where I am now. One way, I decided I'd start getting all my armor back. And this is the reason why I got so many good enchantments on my tools is because of this little thing. You might be confused on what this is, but if I go inside, here we just have a little potato harvester. And this potato harvester is for this potato XP farm, which <laughs> which gets tons of big potatoes. And it's super efficient. This is how I've been able to get all these levels. You guys should definitely search up how to make one of these. These are amazing. Captain joined my world and got to level uh, 100 with that under like five minutes, which is crazy. But then the only problem with that, fuel is not much of a problem, but then there's bone meal. You need a lot of bone meal for it. Oh, uh, well, here's my automatic tree farm that I made eventually. Then I'm like, oh wait, I need tons of bone meal. And I do have a skeleton farm, but that won't really cut it. I don't feel like going there all the way down there every time I want bone meal, and it's not that efficient anyway. And I searched up how to make a bone meal farm. This one isn't really the best. Uh, yeah, I don't have much bone meal. My brother has been taking some for his stuff, but I made a little AFK place here. You just AFK there, have this going, and uh, yeah, it gives you bone meal. It's not the best thing. I might make another bone meal farm that's way better. I might actually make a mob farm that's way better. And even though I had lost a lot, this buddy... No, oh, wrong one, sorry. Even though I had lost a lot, I didn't lose everything. Uh, I saw these... Oh, yeah, look at that book, guys. Wait, hold on. Just take a moment to look at that book. I got that book from enchantment, from enchanting on an enchantment table. And then this one, I, I just got crazy lucky, guys. Can't even explain to you how much, how crazy lucky I got. Anyway, uh, I didn't lose everything. I still have my perfect fishing rod, my perfect uh, trident. And I still had my netherite uh, sword from my very first netherite sword. Doesn't have the greatest enchantments, but it works for now until I get the best sword in the game again. I didn't lose my beacon, which is probably the best part. I was able to get an ender chest back. All these enchantments I was able to get back. I just need to put mending on my axe and shovel. Also on breaking three on that. I, I built some more stuff. If I come down here. So, I actually added a little machine down here. If you come over here, there's all my original stuff. I don't know why this is still going. Let's just turn that off. So here I have made an automatic bone, uh, not bone meal, bamboo harvester, and that's because I needed fuel supply, and bone meal could be crafted into sticks, which is decent fuel supply, at least for now, until I want to make a uh, coal farm, but that includes spawn-proofing a whole bunch of the nether, and I'm not really in the mood for that. So yeah, this is my little fuel source, and this also includes bone meal, um, so it's not really the best thing ever. And that's why I also have my automatic tree farm, which also <laughs> includes bone meal, but it does give me a lot of wood for fuel. And uh, actually, tell me in the comments what you guys think of this build. I actually, like, I work pretty hard on this. This is just this building. And I think it looks pretty decent. It doesn't look too bad. But if we come in here, gotta just check if there's bone meal. So if we turn this on and aim this correctly at the right spot, it will automatically grow potatoes, as you see. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, but simple concept. I really like it. It's actually pretty nice. Not only does it, it, it this this part is only just to get tons of uh, potatoes for my uh, XP farm, which works amazing. I can't wait to show you guys that. Uh, but I do think I'm running out of bone meal. They don't get much more from that, but you know, I could always get more if I get more bone meal. 
So then we come down here. Uh, let me just see if there's bone meal in these. So if we turn this machine on, and we aim it perfectly again, it'll do the same thing, except it goes through a chest into uh, smokers, and then, you know, it's, you, I'm pretty sure you guys know how this works. If you don't, just check out a video. It's r a really cool concept. It's just amazing. Okay, so we turn that lever off, turn that clock off. Uh, we check for any poisonous potatoes, because we don't want any of those. Nope, we're good. And these would be smelting through here. Actually, I'll give a shout out to JC Place. He helped me out with this farm. Well, I watched his video to make this farm, so thanks, JC. Uh, it's pretty, pretty cool, really efficient. Uh, but yeah, you know, I'll just do it now. I need to flick, flick these levers. And then if I start taking some out, there you go. See, I'm getting tons of levels. If you wait a little for more stacks to, wait, if you wait, for more stacks to come in, you'll get tons. But see, I'm already getting like tons of levels right now. Like, it's just so good, dude. Uh, I think the reason I'm getting so much right now is because I already, I had used this before but not collected the XP. So it's just, you know, giving the XP from that. And what these levers do is it just prevents uh, these two hoppers from funneling the potatoes back into this chest. And this is also a great way to get a bunch of food if you ever need it, which is just amazing, guys. I, I really love this farm. So, like I said, I will be making a bone meal farm or just a mob farm in general out of video. Just because it takes a lot of resources and they can get super big. Fire Aspect 2, I already have that. But, uh, we'll try, we'll try it out. Yeah, no, just give me Fire Aspect 2. Okay, so I'm not getting very lucky right now. These are actually some horrible stuff that I'm getting right now. I'm trying to get the best sword back. Bane of Arthropods. <laughs> wow, Bane of Arthropods 3. Come on, I want looting 3. Looting 3, please. Oh! Oh! No way! Did that actually just happen? Oh, and knockback, dude! Did that actually just happen? I can't believe that. Do I just need bending on that and it's already... No, I need sharpness 5. Oh, can I get another sharp, sharpness 4? Wait! I have another sharpness... No, wait. Oh, yeah, no, there is a point. Okay, hold on. Not, uh, whatever. Let me go to bed. I'm about to get the perfect sword, guys. I just need to go to my village and uh, trade and... I have the perfect sword again. That was super... E I'm telling you guys, this whole... This whole thing is just great. So if you guys are enjoying these videos, like and subscribe and... You know, just share them with friends or family. Both Captain and I enjoy making these videos, and um, we really love making these videos as well. Uh, if you haven't seen, we've started our own uh, world together. Oh yeah, by the way, that was uh, Iron Farm. All the villagers despawned. I'll have to fix that soon. But yeah, uh, and we also work really hard to make these videos. Like, it takes time and effort and editing as well. It's crazy, so... It'd be really nice if you guys could subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, it was a pretty short video, but it just sort of went on explaining everything. There will be more videos. Um, I'll probably make a mob farm right after this video anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I also hope to see you in my next video.